you're a landscape photographer like myself, then I bet you're going to be just as excited about the brand new 16 to 35 G Master Mark II from Sony. We're out in Snowbird, Utah for the Sony condo trip, and we're gonna talk about the highlights in this video, and then we'll bring it out in the field for some amazing shooting experiences around here in Utah. We've got a whole lot to see and a lot to capture, so let's go ahead and get started. The new 16-35 G Master Mark II is the lightest and smallest of its class, coming in at 547 grams. But despite being smaller and lighter, it still has improved in four major areas. Chromatic aberration, flaring and ghosting, sharpness at the corners, and focus distance. Getting sharp images across the entire frame is really difficult, especially with these zoom wide-angle lenses, but Sony definitely paid particular attention to this when crafting the new Mark II. And you can tell when zooming into these images that there's just so much detail at all of the corners, even at f2.8, which is just mind-boggling. We just got to the Bonville Salt Flats and we made it just in time for sunset and it's an incredible sunset at that. And what I'm paying particular attention to is the sharpness on the edges and it's really shining in this composition. Almost a full moon, not quite there just yet, and a nice reflection on the bottom here and just a sharp frame across the entire image. So let's see what we can get here. Another few areas where this lens improves greatly is chromatic aberration, flaring, and ghosting. And I was paying particular attention to this while shooting during golden hour throughout this week. Focus distance is also dramatically improved on this lens, and the minimal focus distance is 8.6 inches. We experimented with some wildflowers around Utah to really take advantage of this new feature. Taking a look at the body itself, there's a few areas where Sony also improved and took some notes from the 24 to 70 G Master Mark II by adding a new iris ring and an iris ring lock to this lens. Plus, if you're a gimbal user or video shooter, you'll definitely appreciate that the center of gravity virtually remains unchanged as you zoom in and out using this lens. And video shooters, you'll also really appreciate that Sony has improved the focus breathing on this lens so much that when you're shifting that focus, you won't have to deal with that annoying hunting. We've had a ton of fun shooting with this new lens and I can't wait to take it out next. Where should we go with it? Who's to say? We might have it on a helicopter, maybe on top of Yosemite. There's just so many options, but I'd love to hear from you where you plan to use this lens, what landscapes you plan to photograph. Let us know in the comments below. My name is Matt and thanks for watching.